hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video lesson we will learn how to count vowels consonants digits spaces and words from a given sentence so without any further ado let's get started double click on turbo c icon on the desktop to start turbo c id select new from the file menu to create new source file let's start coding hash include stdio.h hash include kunio.h and hash include c type dot h okay void main opening brace closing brace now string char star str equal to in double quotation mark just do it semicolon int i equal to 0 int wow for vowels equal to 0 con for consonants equal to 0 comma dig for digits equal to 0 spa for spaces equal to 0 and W R for words zero. Okay. Now C L R S R semicolon printf backslash n given string is equal to percent yes comma yes T R. Okay. Now while str subscript i not equal to backslash g opening brace closing brace if each alpha each alpha in bracket str subscript i opening brace closing brace this function checks whether an inputted character is alphabet or not. If it is alphabet, it returns true value, otherwise it returns false. Okay, and it is defined in the file c type.h. That's why we have included this file here. Okay. So if it is alphabet first of all we will check whether it is vowel or not if it is alphabet and if it is not a vowel then definitely it will be a consonant okay so i am going to check it if str subscript i equal to if it is a lowercase letter a str subscript i equal to if it is e or i am going to copy this code okay a e i if it is i if it is o or if it is u Okay, A I O U or C is case sensitive language, that's why we need to check both the cases. So, str subscript i equal to uppercase A or uppercase E or uppercase I or uppercase O or the last condition uppercase u okay 
then here we will increment the value of variable wow by 1 okay semicolon else if it is not a vowel definitely it is consonant so else con plus plus okay now we are going to test condition for digit so if each digit in bracket str subscript i opening brace closing brace if the character is digit then we will increment the value of variable digit by 1 this function is also defined in c type dot h and it checks whether an inputted character is digit or not if it is digit it returns true value otherwise it returns false okay so dig plus plus okay now another condition if each space str subscript i opening brace closing brace if the character we are testing is a space then we will increment the value of spa by 1 it is also defined in c type dot h and checks for space if the character encountered is space it returns true otherwise it returns false okay now checking for words simply we are writing word wr equal to spaces spa plus 1 and i plus plus okay so why i have written were equal to space plus 1 because if we have two spaces space 1 and space 2 then we have three words in a sentence okay first word second word and third word getting if we have four spaces in a sentence that means we have five words in a sentence it is very simple so that's why we have incremented value of space by one and assigned it to wr okay now now it's time to print all the stuffs so printf backslash n number of vowels equal to percent d comma wow i am going to copy this for consonants digits spaces and words and at last it's ch so number of console sorry consonants equal to quan next number of digits equal to dig okay number of spaces equal to spa and at last number of words equal to wor save the program as wow 
fun dot c compile it to make sure that there are no syntax error in the program so alt f9 program is absolutely fine let's run it to view the output control f9 so the program is printing given string is just do it number of vowels equal to 3 let's check it the first vowel is u the second vowel is o and the third vowel is i okay excluding vowels the other alphabets are consonants so just do it has eight characters and if three are vowels so definitely five will be consonants okay number of digits there are no digits in the sentence so it is zero number of spaces are two it is correct and if number of spaces are two then number of words equal to number of spaces plus one that is three okay so our program is absolutely fine so that's all for this video lesson don't forget to subscribe my channel to watch the upcoming interesting video lesson if you have any queries regarding this video lesson please let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching